The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to reproach the town where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, children! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Jesus Christ. We always have to be careful when we're le reading the Word of God because depending on how we approach the word or how we are open of mind and heart in listening to the word and drinking it in, we could unintentionally, and certainly I don't think it would be ever the intention of our loving God to frighten us to death or to even threaten us, but certainly the intent would be to wake us up, to get our attention, and then once we have our undivided attention, undivided heart, open mind, he would give us good news to encourage us, to inspire us, uh, to instigate curiosity within our hearts as we journey spiritually. And so in the, in the gospel today, uh, again, if we're not careful, we could just interpret it on a very low, unintended level of, of being frightened by God to uh, modify our behavior. Or we could uh, allow the Word of God to more positively motivate us and open our heart to His love. And the good news that is here, if we have the ears to hear and the eyes to see, that our God invites us always to repent. That our God is always ready and waits for us so that he might forgive us wherever we may need forgiveness. And hopefully that that good news will then motivate us in a positive way to sin no more, to do our best to what we would call traditionally to avoid the near occasion of sin as best we can. And when we fail in the future, uh, we again would as Jesus did three times, pick himself, pick him, he picked himself up. We pick ourselves up with God's help. And also as we honor his mother today under the title of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, we always have Mary and her help. She's always ready to assist us and to encourage us. Do not lose hope. Do not give up. And a phrase that I love in scripture, I, 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 I've heard it said was, that it's mentioned over 70 times possibly. Do not be afraid. 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Holy Father, Gerald, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, the Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray now as Jesus taught us, our Father.
Please stand now for our closing prayer. <coughs> As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in honoring Mary may, by living as she lived, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you, God.